yeah, incredibly excited to get out there. It's been a long winter um, and, you know, we've, we've all worked incredibly hard on our skills this winter, I think. We've got a head down, we've knuckled down as a squad and we've had a few players abroad as well playing and representing England and, and various different teams. Um, so I think we're just all itching to get back out as a team on the pitch together. Yeah, it's been brilliant to actually get so much cricket under our belt before we actually start the Charlotte Edwards Cup and obviously um, what's been so rewarding about throughout the whole last month is the process of all the players putting their names into the hat and, and performing and going out and showcasing what they can do and obviously it's made selection extremely um, difficult but I guess it's a good headache that we want. <laughs> I'm just so so chuffed to bits for both of them really. I mean, Freya Kemp has always been an exciting young talent and, uh, and she's always been a player that I've been lucky enough to work with since she was 12, 13 and, and we knew that she'd go far but she's obviously had her own struggles with injuries so um, to get her out there, we're wrapping her up in cotton wool but she's survived the warm-up games and, and, and they've been coming thick and fast so um, I'm excited for her um, to see how she goes on this summer because I think it's, it's going to be brilliant for her to, to go out there and show everyone what she's made of but obviously for Nancy I think her story is lovely, um, to, to leave another region um, because she wasn't making the cut and obviously to come and, and her work ethic and her training ethic has just been phenomenal um, and, and she always does it with a smile on her face so I'm so proud and, and pleased for both of them because they've performed sensationally in, in all our warm-up games and you know made it tough not to pick them. Yeah, it, it's just brilliant having someone like Anya as part of our squad. I, I've known Anya for many years and she was always a really good mentor actually for me when I was a little bit younger on the on the Loughborough Uni programme. So to have her here um, on a personal note it is fantastic to have someone with her leadership qualities on the pitch with me um, and her knowledge as well will be amazing. But also for, for our younger players that we've got, we've got a lot of exciting younger players and, and just for the bowlers to have someone to talk to and, and go through their plans with, I think it's going to be um, incredibly exciting what she can bring to the Vipers in the next few years. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, um, Emma Lambs had a well had a brilliant season last season and um, represented England over the winter. So she'll be one to watch. You know, she's um, she's a threat not just with the bat but with the ball as well. But Kate Cross, I think she. Um, she can't ever go underestimated with what she brings not again not just with the ball but she actually scored a few runs against us with the bat last year so they've got a lot of talent um, and I think at any regional team now we, we are seeing teams really start to kick on because the programs are in full swing so uh, we'll, we'll do our homework and we'll do our matchups and hopefully hit the ground running well yeah that's that's a plan if we, if we can go on and win the double then um, you know that, that that's what we prefer prepared for and that's what we're setting out to do so hopefully <laughs>